فصب عليها نفسا وهو يقول اني غرست نخله في بستان وسقيتها ماء عذبا في النهايه سيجد ان عمله بلا قيمه اباء للقران وانتم كمن سبقكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته true believers that was some words from our wonderful Mehdi Ahmed Al Hassan Al Yemeni from the Sermon of the Month of Muharram Al Haram what a great sermon especially when we're discussing the topic of those who are lying those who are deceiving we know that in the end of time the times that were spoke of many times in Islam to be happening then there will be many evil scholars in this time when the Yemeni emerges, when the Mehdi comes. So we want to keep this in mind that Satan, he himself refused to prostrate Adam. He was like, Adam, he's made of mud, I'm made of fire. And then Adam indeed can be not just looked at. What is he? What's his soul about? He has a choice to even be better than an angel. So anyhow, learn more from the correct resources. If you go to the Wikipedia online, you'll see variations of some truth and some falsehood. They mention that we're called, for instance, a group, Soldiers of Heaven. This is not true. Also, we have a brother, a Zolfiger, who uses YouTube and a video to explain there's proof that we're not from the Soldiers of Heaven or these other groups that they claim. If you go to Wikipedia, you'll see they change his name. If you type Ahmed Al Hassan, you'll see they mention, for instance, his name Ahmed Al Ismail here at this Wikipedia, but that is not his name. But again, you can type Ahmed Al Hassan Wikipedia and you will come to the right site that they intend for you to learn about R. Yamani. They mention some of the books he wrote, which is good. You can use those, that's reliable, if you are interested in learning about him. But don't go into believing that we had started this fight that they mentioned. This has nothing to do with us or our group. We have been teaching knowledge peacefully, and we have videos where they tried to set up the Ansar and the evil that they did, for instance, kicking to death, watching them lay there bleeding in pain, and Ansar, and he's saying, La ilaha illallah. He's not doing anything wrong, he's talking the truth, and they're kicking him, calling him a Jew. So we have this video. We also have many brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, that have, for instance, made videos to describe the Mehdi versus the Imams of Darkness. And we have other video, who is the Yemani? And we have another video, the law, how to distinguish the successor of Allah, because we know, for instance, Allah, He's saying he placed a viceroy on earth that's ongoing. So Adam, then um, Noah, Moses, Jesus, these various people, thousands and thousands of them, they were the successor of Allah. How do you recognize them? So there's a video about this. And the Medi, they're also part of the viceroy, the successor. Alhamdulillah. We have a video, Imam Ahmed al Hassan al Yamani, which, if you go to this one, you can learn more about the many details where he's from, the son that he's from, etc. We have a brother who gave his allegiance also to the Yemeni, and he reminds us some good reminders, for instance. He tells us the fifth imam, he spoke very clearly that when the Yemeni comes out, he'll have the best banner, the banner of faith and dedication. So whoever turns away from the Yemeni will be from the people of hell. So we know that this is not a light matter to take jokingly like, okay, I'll follow the majority, or okay, I'll follow an evil scholar any time. I'll trust what so-and-so says. No, just are supposed to look, see the crew, then give Bea allegiance. Because this is a matter of <clears throat> eternally burning in hell, or obeying Allah and being rewarded. We also have, as you probably already have watched or heard of, the Arise series which has a part 14, The Scholars of the End Times. That's also an ongoing opportunity for you to learn and be alive. Alhamdulillah. We also have websites, thesavior.com, theyamaniarch.com, ashamstudios.com, and the many other people who have who've made videos or YouTube websites or shared them in other places on the 
cyberspace era. You can go to and learn. So don't take, for instance, Wikipedia or your local scholar at the mosque or your or the famous scholar worldwide because we know in these times they're not to be trusted in the Quran. It's basically saying there'll be a lot of people going to hell after they give the excuse Allah will. I followed the, you know, scholar. He, he said so. You know, the leader that was near me told me. But did you look beyond that for proof for yourself? And then Yamani himself is reminding us, don't give me there until you know, until you've looked, until you're sincere and able to see that it's true. So he's not looking for numbers. He's trying to look for those that are sincere and take as many hands that he can to help them to heaven, away from the hell. And you can't do that by being ignorant and naive and following the majority. As I personally know, I grew up in America. I have family related to the government in their work. And I've seen many of them think that by following the government, they were doing something good for themselves that will give them blessings. Most of them are miserable often. A lot of things have gone wrong for many of them. They've tried and tried, but there's still no avail of complete satisfaction or happiness. And worse, they're going to go to hell if they don't repent and realize that there's the supremacy of God and enjoy life for what it is, even if it's a short life. For instance, Fatima al-Zohar, Salam Alay, she's going to be the queen of paradise. She lived for 18 years. And in those 18 years, by her wonderful morals and manners, we have led to many minds to understand the truth. Because of her great ways, people loved it. It's true, sincere people loved it, kept account of it, and have shared it. And we've been able to benefit it, benefit from it for over 1,400 years. So living a long life is not the goal. Is not at all the goal for a righteous person. Living the amount of time that can benefit us here, while we're here, in this test. Indeed, it is a test. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad a'ama wa nabeen wa sanam kasim kasir and thank you for listening. Allah kareem. Mom? Dad? Sisters? Brothers? Everybody? I hope you realize that there is a true religion. I hope you study and after fact become certain in your faith. I hope you know God has given us so many chances to listen. So please, listen before it's too late. Be sincere. Our outcome is forever. I promise you. I sincerely want you to try and weigh the truth versus this filthy earth option to find the real success. And when you get the choice to play in evil or pursue the fight for what is right, I hope you win. I hope you win. Allahumma salli Allah Muhammad wa a Muhammad a Emma wa Mahdi wa Salam hasin kafirin.